Hey everybody, Daniel Fusco here, and welcome to today's Two Minute Message. Do you ever wonder why happiness is so hard? Really, the Bible actually explains to us exactly why it's so hard. It's not hard. The problem is, is that we make one, really two fundamental mistakes. And I get it from Jeremiah, uh, the book of Jeremiah, chapter two, verse 13, where the Lord tells Jeremiah, my people have committed two evils. One, they have forsaken me, the fountain of living waters. And two, they have hewn for themselves cisterns, broken cisterns that hold no water. In a lot of ways, The mistakes that we make and why happiness is hard is one, we try and find happiness apart from the Lord. That's a fool's errand. You might enjoy something for a moment, but it really won't fulfill you. And instead of embracing the Lord, who's the fountain of living water, we make the second mistake. We'd rather make for ourselves our own little cisterns, these little water holders. And he says, but he says, but they're broken cisterns. They hold no water. So really what it is, is in in this picture, the the water is happiness and nourishment. And what we do is we forsake the only place that real happiness is found. And instead we want to create our own ways of happiness, but they don't ultimately ultimately fulfill. Now, I wrote about this in my book, Crazy Happy, Nine Surprising Ways to Live the Truly Beautiful Life. You can pick it up wherever you like to buy books. And listen, we want to make sure that we are embracing and we are not forsaking the fountain of living water. And and really what Jesus teaches us in John 15 is that our job is to abide in him. And when we abide in him, as the branch abides in the trunk, all of the nourishment comes to the branches through abiding in Jesus. And in the same way, when we don't forsake the fountain of living waters, but we embrace, we abide in the Lord, then the the resurrected life of Jesus, the life of God becomes our life, and then our lives are changed, and you will find true, abiding, fulfilling happiness in the Lord if you abide in him. And how cool is that? Now, you, I want you to share this video because I want everybody to know that happiness is found in abiding in Jesus. And even though we like to make our, our cisterns, we have to remember they're broken, they don't hold any water. And when we stop trying to make our own cisterns, but we plug into the Lord, that's where the magic happens. And in the comment section, share about how God is bringing unique happiness into your life right here and right now. And we'll be able to celebrate that. And God bless you today.